this is like the thrill of prototypes. Will it work or will it not work? And this is what makes R&D ex exciting. So here you see that we are putting pixels on a three-dimensional surface before. I've never seen this being done by anybody else. Um, and, you know, this opens up a whole bunch of opportunities, not just from a design point of view, because we have physical design, the design of this crystal or jewel, if you were, but then we also have the digital design of how the digital experience is interacting between, say, a flat 2D space and the 3D space of this jewel. Now, why are we doing this? So at BMW, we're constantly thinking of ways, we're just constantly searching for ways to improve usability, improve the lives of our customers, as I was saying earlier. We're also thinking about sensory uh, interactions. Um, you know, it's like flat display, sure you can touch it, but can you really feel it? And so what we have here is a fully touch sensitive surface that has this three dimensional shape to it. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the benefits in a moment. And then we also have this question of how do we differentiate our brands from our competitors? How do we be, stay true to the legacy of BMW and what we want BMW to be in the next five to 10 years? Um, so what does this do for us? How does it improve our, our lives as drivers and users? Um, well, firstly, um, safety. So reducing the interaction time is incredibly important so you can remain focused on the road. Um, so this physical form provides you a place to stabilize your finger so you can touch it almost without looking. And also if you're bouncing over a road, it gives you a place mm. to place your finger. That's the beauty of physical mm. buttons. Can we touch it? Or... I'm afraid to, no, because this is an Very early cool. stage prototype. We have other prototypes which we're keeping under wraps. Can you which are fully... your finger? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So, so for example, I can put my finger there, if that helps. So putting it into perspective, and then actually there's a, there's a great sequence. This is test video mm. that you're seeing here. And there's a great sequence where we can sort of see that as a play button, as a skip button. And, you know, so what we're doing here is creating a contextual interface that changes according to what's happening in your life, what's happening in the vehicle. So we can give you quick access to smart features depending on what you need <coughs> at that very point in time, what's relevant. So if you're watching a movie, you have access to the movie controls. If you've got an incoming call, do you want to answer it or not? Or do you want to swipe it away? Um, or if you're sort of in autonomous mode, there may be something, oh, or if you're charging your car, for example, there are some go-to quick access features that are at your fingertip. I'm not gonna tell you about where we're gonna apply this, how we're gonna apply it, if we're gonna do this, but this, if we're gonna ever see this in series production. But the point here is back to this this thing, this, your question of, we're looking to inspire Munich to think about, should we be working towards displays that are not flat, go beyond? And so um, I talked about our curiosity. We're here as designers and engineers, as explorers, creators, we are constantly asking sometimes really silly questions, but we're playing with ideas. We're observing what's happening in the world to think about, well, how can we change it? How can we make it better?